प्लीज गेट रेडी फॉर डिक्टेशन ऑफ एक्सरसाइज नंबर वन एंड टू फ्रॉम प्रोग्रेसिव मैगजीन ऑफ सेप्टेम्बर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू इट इज ए मैटर ऑन बजट एंड टेक्सेशन फाइव सेकेंड्स स्टार्ट मिस्टर डेप्यूटी स्पीकर सर आई एम वेरी ग्रेटफुल टू द ऑनरेबल मेंबर्स हु हैव मेड देयर ऑब्जर्वेशन ऑन द बजट वाइल टेकिंग द ऑपॉर्चुनिटी ऑफ मेकिंग अ फ्यू ऑब्जर्वेशन ऑन इट nobody can claim that this is a budget where there is no deficiency that this is an embodiment of perfection and it has been possible for us to do whatever is needed for the betterment of the economic situation in the country at the same time it has been very correctly pointed out that in a situation like ours the finance minister had little option or rather very little space for accommodation to private to provide a budget on the one hand keeping his eyes on the need of growth and on the other to see that the peculiar economic situation which has been created as a result of constant demand does not deteriorate further in view of that it has been admitted by almost all the speakers including the distinguished leaders of the opposition that an increase of the order of 31% in the plan outlay would go a long way and would create an investment climate which would ultimately be beneficial for the country now while making these observations he expressed his doubt whether the unbridged gap on the revenue side would create further instability factor on the price front keeping in view the situation as it is today and the economic disciplines and various measures which we have resorted to perhaps we can modestly claim unless certain external factors come into the picture it would be possible for us to maintain the price stability as it is today and at the same time as it has been expressed by the finance minister in his speech by reducing the taxes both on direct and indirect side the total revenues of the country would not be reduced it is no use suggesting that the budget is for the money bag and that the budget is full of concessions for monopoly houses the budget is an instrument through which the government tries to control and regulate the economy of the country for the current year and in this years budget also that exercise has been made nothing more nothing less therefore to categorize it either as a budget of money bag or a budget for monopoly houses is perhaps incorrect in fact it reduces the taxes for various categories one point has been raised by my honorable friend that the percentage of reduction of taxes in the lower income group are not adequate while the percentages of reduction of taxes in the upper income group are more in this connection i would like to point out one aspect which should be kept in mind if we come to a conclusion that taxation is the only instrument of doing away economic <clears throat> disparity perhaps it would not be correct there are certain other factors which must be taken into account in this respect in a developing economy 
like ours, no doubt taxation is a very important instrument of doing away economic disparity, but at the same time there are certain other factors which also contribute for making the desired goal such an investment policy, industrial licensing policy and there is no denying the fact that for the last few years the government is trying to concentrate on those fronts. Therefore, when certain tax rates have been reduced, it would not be correct to come to a conclusion that we have given up our idea of doing away economic disparities which prevail in the society. I would like to submit that the basic objective of our taxation system is progression in the rate of taxes. Even in the present tax structure, as it has been pointed out by my honorable friend, while making his justification for reduction, but on the wealth tax side, this does not find any justification. Some people may be wondering why we cannot have a higher percentage of taxes. Sir, from the experience that we have gained during all these years, it has been established that a higher rate tax at a certain stage becomes counterproductive. There is no denying the fact that the rate of tax for income of over 90 percent. That does create distortion, not only in one form, but in many directions. That does not mean that if somebody has acquired income or wealth up to a certain level, he does not acquire wealth anymore. But what happens is that he does acquire wealth, but that wealth or income is not brought into the books as a result of which all such vulgar expenditure is going on. There is no denial of the fact that the operation of black money which went on and which is still going on in the country is the product to some extent of a system like this. Therefore, to ensure that we do not have increase in black money, the rates of direct taxes should go down. Stop.